my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today it is the third Sunday of the Easter season. We read from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 1 to 19. We read as follows. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. They cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we reflect on today's Gospel reading, the two others of his disciples, two anonymous disciples of Jesus whose names are don't know, we don't know where the other disciples were, but they were not with Peter that day. Those who went fishing with Peter saw Jesus. But before one of his audiences, St. John Paul II was greeting some people among the crowd. He was talking with a group of young ladies when the MC suggested that he keep moving because it was getting late. He had to give a speech. Amused, he looked at the youth and said in Latin, I am going fishing. To this amazement, some of them answered also in Latin, We will go with you. The Holy Pope smiled and turned to them and said, Please do. That's what Christians are called to do. We are always go with the fisher of men, whoever the Pope is at the time, to catch the souls for God. Those who did not fish with Peter that day didn't see the miraculous catch. Unity with Pope is a sign of efficiency in the apostolate. But Peter was well aware that all was Jesus doing. They had caught nothing by themselves a few minutes before. Peter followed Jesus' instructions and fished. Peter obeyed Jesus. The disciples followed Peter and fished. And for centuries, Christians who have followed St. Peter have never run out of fish. Nowadays, even in our current stormy weather, we are the highest of those and these anonymous disciples who went fishing with Peter. Let us pray often the prayer, all with Peter, to Jesus through Mary. Amen.